Nicola Sturgeon has been described as a useful idiot after the Westminster spy row raised fresh questions over her links to Beijing. Last week, MI5 issued a rare warning to say that an alleged Chinese agent, lawyer Christine Ching Kui Li, had successfully infiltrated UK politics. Musli, who donated £500,000 to Labour MP Barry Gardiner over six years mainly to cover staffing costs in his office and employed her son as his diary manager works closely with the Chinese People's Association for Friendship with Foreign Countries, CPAFFC. Parliamentary records also show Lib Dem leader Sir Ed Davey received a £5,000 donation from Musli in 2013 when Energy Secretary in the coalition government. In October 2020, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said the CPAFFC had sought to directly and malignly influence state and local leaders to promote China's global agenda. Alarmingly, Mr. Pompeo said the organization was tasked with co-opting subnational governments. Now, the Scottish Daily Express can reveal the First Minister has long-standing ties to the CPAFFC, having visited China as their guest on several occasions and even welcoming the Vice President to the Scottish Parliament. Stuart Crawford, a former army officer and SNP defence spokesman who now works as a defence and security commentator said there were serious questions for the Scottish Government to answer. He said, if the U.S. State Department has stated that publicly, we can safely assume this organization has a dual mandate, at best. You could say they have found a useful idiot in Nicola Sturgeon. The Scottish Government and Nicola Sturgeon would have been flattered by the attention and of course she is always seeking to present herself as a leader on the world stage. I wouldn't go as far as saying she or the Scottish government would have been overtly aware that they were being played but they appear to have been slightly naive in not questioning the Chinese interest in a tiny wee country off the northern coast of Europe. 